Okay, you're all very welcome to the first of your video tutorials. I've just opened up Cards by James, and it's in Microsoft Access. That's our, our program that we're using, okay? I'm going to click over here onto Customers, and this is the table. So this is uh, our database, and this is similar to the one that we used earlier on in our coursework, okay? So the last time we were doing queries and stuff like that on this, okay? Now what we can do is we can change these fields and we can change the properties and that's what we're going to be doing today and I'm going to be asking you to take some print screens of it to show your evidence okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into view and design view and what I've got is all those fields that were previously back in datasheet view now you can see that I can flick between the two of these by just clicking up here datasheet view will bring me back to here and then design view will bring me back to here so you can see that the title, first name, surname, it matches up with what's in design view. Now, in this section, what we can do is we can change the properties of the different fields. So you can see here in surname, it's got a field size of 255. Now, what that means is how many characters you can put in. Say, like on Twitter, you can use 140 characters, so letters, numbers, or, or pieces of punctuation. For surname, we've got said we told the database that it can have 255 different characters okay now what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and change the number of characters for some of some of these fields so I'm going to click into male and female and you can see that the standard field size is 255 now for that we're obviously only going to put in either male or female which is four letters and six letters for either of them so we don't really need a field size of 255 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to something more appropriate so I'm going to put in maybe 7 or 8 for that okay because obviously we're either going to write male or female into this field what I'd like you to do is can you take a print screen or show evidence of you changing the field size here and I'd like you to explain why you've changed the field size from 255 to something more appropriate. You might want to suggest that obviously we're going to just put in male or female for this size. So what you need to do is at this point take a print screen and then justify or explain why you've changed that. 